my mail. All right, time for toy hunting. Didn't you wear that same shirt yesterday? I did. Transfer. There, better? You know that's the same shirt, right? It's green. You Come did on. your magic color change, but it's still the same shirt. No, it's different. <laughs> yeah. Come along. We got their mail. We're in Woodland Hills. There's supposed to be a Lego store here, so we're gonna see if we can find that. I just checked Toys R Us for the keys. Nothing here. I can't believe how hard these things are to find. All right, time for McDonald's. We're going to the fancy McDonald's. am I? What have they done here? There never used to be mountains behind this McDonald's. Everything's different. It's all different. Me, I got a shamrock shake. If you don't just order from the dollar menu and don't get a drink, McDonald's is the most expensive place we go. We got two burgers, a fries, and two drinks, and it was almost $20. <laughs> I found Turbo and SPD. I'm really looking for Ninja Storm. I'd really love to have Ninja Storm. All right, it does say Lego. Where is there a Lego store here? This place is new. It's a Lego burger. trying to find Mia a cheap pair of overalls for our next Beetleborgs video for MMPR Toys. I can't even find a pair. Too full for McDonald's. We'll have to come back. Mia, don't you get taunted by those refrigerators? You can't have that beautiful refrigerator. It's a whole level. Oh my goodness. Oh, how nice is that? Oh, what a freezer. Oh. They get Sears and whatever other places I wasn't filming. There's a cheesecake factory here now. I guess we can try Forever 21. It's quiet. The future is here. That replaces my big giant tower. Oh, Mia, you made a good thing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try Target and then Walmart. See if I can find the keys I'm still missing. What happened to Walmart? They don't have anything, ever. Oh, does that smell good. I have to get this parking job. Taking up two spaces in a crowded parking lot. Time for Target. Wish me luck. If these keys aren't here, I'll know that some of you didn't wish me luck and I'll be very upset. Really? Not one of you guys wished me luck? I'm taking Mia back to the punishment room for that. And you only have yourselves to blame. Oh, are they, are they behind here maybe? No. Just these stupid things that I don't want. Somebody was asleep on the job when they put Leo together. Oh, wow. They forgot to assemble. <laughs> 
Mia, Jerry, and I were eating at this Wendy's one night when Julie was visiting us <laughs> around midnight, and we got locked in because they started shooting a commercial with raccoons that were going through the drive-thru. And then they gave us these coupons, which I actually still have in the car from like 2004 or 5, whenever it was. I think it was 04. Restaurant, coffee shop. <gasps> Do you want to go there? Sort of. I'm not go. hungry though. I'm not, I don't know if I'll be hungry then. I kind of want to throw up. <laughs> I totally wish I was hungry. Too much McDonald's. I'm going to my most hated Target since nobody wished me luck at the last one. It's always like so congested. People need Can to you get out? Park. Is there enough room to get out? Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. No. No. I went to five Targets today. Target near me. Okay, here's Target. It looks pretty close to you. I'm in it. Find me another one. All right, we're gonna try one more Target. Wish us luck. Or else Mia's going to the punishment room when we get home. Last time we went to this Whole Foods, we saw Zach and Cody from Zach and Cody, the Sprouse kids. This used to be our Burger King. I'm trying out the wok that my mother got us for Valentine's Day. It's done. Looks perfectly good. This is all to get off the freeway. After this target, I will have tried every single target that's anywhere near me. I give up. I at least have Zio. Yeah. I need more dirt for my wildflowers. This is like the fancy Osh. I don't think I've ever been in this one. No. I really like Osh, and they, they're all going out of business. Oh, fish and poop. Perfectly good. Okay. No, I can't even pull them up. They're for girls. Oh, I guess we keep looking. Alright, I guess you can't fit into children's clothes anymore. You're getting big, man. <laughs> Those are the only overalls in the whole store. What you got, Mia? Sea biscuit. You gonna get that? Yeah, two bucks. It was 16. Alright. They're restocking tomorrow. More books? Yeah, he says all of this will be filled up. Oh, look at all the wildflowers. They gave us a free bag, a free Walmart bag. He's got a good $2 book. It's Asian supermarket time. That looks good. Oh, Mia found her mama. I love the mama. That's like Mama Mia. And you're not done, huh? Fried rice, onion rolls. You want those? It's five dollar pizza time. They have plain and pepperoni, both five dollars, but they never ever have plain, only pepperoni. Yeah. So the lady that ran in front of me, she got the last cheese pizza, so we got pepperoni. Oh, perfectly good. As I was going into Little Caesars, there was a girl coming out with stuff in her hand, so I opened the door and kind of stood aside, and then this other girl comes in and goes, shoop, goes right to the counter, says, cheese pizza, and it was the last one. That wasn't very nice. So we had pepperoni. Anyway, I finally did get my mail. This came from John. I still have to do a mail vlog on MMPR toys, but I'll do it over here earlier because I still have to do it over there. John sent us some really awesome stuff. I've never even seen this before. It's a Diva Talks. It's like all these reviews from the movie and then it's signed and kissed on the back. <laughs> Diva Talks can't have you. Or can she? I'll mess her up. Oh, you don't mess around. Yeah, Diva Talks don't want none of that. I love this from Neil Kaplan, also signed. And then here we've got some autographed cards that are being donated for giveaways. I really don't know what to say about Toys R Us and their pre-orders. Looks like John has converted his wife Candy into a Super Sentai fan. And she says, Troy is no Captain Marvelous. I would agree with that. <laughs> but he definitely is Troy, I'll give him that. Nobody said he wasn't. And then Dynasty, if you're watching, I did get some track. I'm probably gonna have to order online. They didn't quite have what I actually needed. But I did get some stray track. I do love my flexible track. This really is beautiful. I, I do want to put it together soon. And then John also wanted to see my Ninja Turtle display case. Which I know isn't quite as impressive as my uh, Power Ranger room, but... Unfortunately, my big turtle collection did not survive childhood. I know I talked about this already in another vlog, but for those of you that are new, uh, when I was a kid I got to an age where people would say, you know, I was too old to watch the show and to collect the toys, and I pretended that I was over it, so not to get made fun of, and I gave my collection to my brother, and after a while they went into the attic and my mother gave a bunch of them away, which turned out to be some really expensive ones like Scratch, who goes for like $600 now, out of the box. 
As a kid, I had every single figure, all the different variants, all the different vehicles. Mondo Gecko is one of my favorites. These are not from my original collection. I did rebuy these on eBay a little bit at a time as I could afford them. There's Chrome Dome, still looking all nice and shiny. So now with my toy channel, I get kids who are like 10, 11, telling me that they get made fun of for being into Power Rangers. And I'm like, that's just so lame. That's so, so sad that you can be 10 years old and you're told that you're too old to like toys, to watch cartoons, to watch shows like Power Rangers. You only get to be 10 once, enjoy it. Yes, I am very sorry that I listened to those people, but never again. Being a fan of Ninja Turtles, that wasn't hurting anybody. There's no reason I couldn't have been a fan and collected the toys. Like, whose business is that, really? But anyway, I think this display represents fourth grade, up to fourth grade. I remember getting tattoo right around the time that I graduated fourth grade or had the moving up ceremony, whatever that was called, and Jerry. Yes? Here you are. What are you going on about? About how you need to go to sleep immediately. Talking about your Ninja Turtles? Yes. That's a sad story. It's a very sad story. And also, it's kind of cool that now we're seeing these characters again on the new series. Here's Wingnut, who's now April's father. We've got the Foot Soldiers. We've got Shredder. We've had Leatherhead. I'm sure we're going to get Baxter Stockman. Mutagen Man, Scumbug, Slash, April and Casey, Metalhead. We'll probably get Fugitoid, a character who is known as the Krang. So here's the new Wingnut, or Mr. O'Neill. And here's the 1990 version. And Mia's back to work on another job for our regular business. Matt, you are unfortunately one of the people that does not have a reply button. Which is too bad. You always have nice things to say. So the best I can do is just click the thumbs up button underneath your your username. All right, it is most certainly my bedtime. I don't know why no one ever puts me to bed. I should go to sleep. Go so, to bed. Hey, don't you tell me what to do. You'll go to the punishment room. You'll go to bed. Hey, 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 hey. Very big thanks to John for sending us really awesome stuff. I feel like I'm forgetting some things that I wanted to say, but it, like I said, it is my bedtime and I'm a little aged about that. So thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, share the video, etc. Thank you guys for watching and good night.